In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for TeBr2. This is tellurium dibromide. So first we need to count the valence electrons. Tellurium, that's in group 16, sometimes called 6A. It has six. Bromine, group 17, that'll have seven. We have those two bromines. So six plus 14, that gives us 20 total valence electrons for the TeBr2 Lewis structure. So we'll put the least electronegative element in the center. That's the Te. And then let's just put the bromines on either side. So we have 20 total valence electrons. We'll put electrons between atoms. That forms the chemical bond, the covalent bond. These are shared. And then we'll complete the octets around the bromines, the outer elements. So far, we've used 16 valence electrons. We have 20 for the TeBr2 Lewis structure. So we'll just complete the octet on that central Te atom there. We've used 20 valence electrons, and each atom has an octet. This is the Lewis structure for TeBr2. If we wanted to look at the molecular geometry, we have two atoms here and then two lone pairs. Let's see what that gives us. We'll consider the purple atom to be the Te. We're going to add two bromine atoms, one, two. You can see they spread out to be as far away from each other as they can. And then we'll add our two lone pairs, one, two. So we end up with this molecular geometry here that is bent. So this is a bent molecular geometry for TeBr2. If you're using the AXE notation, that would be AX2E2. That would give us the bent molecular geometry. For the electron geometry, this is considered tetrahedral. We have these four steric groups here. Back to our Lewis structure we can see how these two lone pairs result in our bent molecular geometry. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for TeBr2 and the molecular geometry. Thanks for watching.